Yeah, this Donald Sterling interview, I, uh, I don't, I don't know how to explain this. You know, um, you know how some people can, um, well, I can't. Donald Sterling was so racist, he couldn't actually control himself. He was trying so hard and failing. He was like the racist Bruce Banner trying not to become racist Hulk. I like to help minorities. I'm not a racist. He, it doesn't matter. I, I don't think it's worthy of even discussing. But Anderson Cooper was just like, show me your real face. Show me the beast within. What has he done? Can you tell me? Big Magic Johnson, what has he done? But what does he do for the black people? Doesn't do anything. You call up and think, well, you he's, know, he's, opened, a he's, have he's a, opened a lot of businesses the Jewish in, in people, inner city neighborhoods. The Jewish people have a company and it's for people who want to borrow money and no interest. They want to give them a fish pole, fishing pole. We want to help people. If they don't have the money, we'll loan it to you. You don't have interest, one day you'll pay us back. So are, I'm just telling you, he does nothing. It's so, all talk. Are, so are you saying that African Americans don't contribute to their to African American communities as much as Jewish? There's people no African American. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I didn't. You know, I, I they all want to play golf with me. Racist Hulk smash all facts. Facts no matter to racist Hulk. Racist Hulk punch through opportunity to not be racist and be more racist. Hulk smash. A lot of folks are saying, why are news outlets even talking to this dude? Racist dude is racist. But here's the thing about that. This is America, and no one is racist until they're racist. Discriminatory housing practices, eh, we don't know what really happened. You know what I mean? Could be, we don't know. Yelling about how the black president is illegitimate, although the last president actually stole the election, eh. Socialism must be stopped, you know what I mean? We gotta take back our country. Say black people are lazy and steal. Okay, well now you've gone too far. You said black people do a bad thing that some of us actually might think they did do, but we know better not to say it out loud. We might say that in private, but we're not gonna say that in like polite company, okay? That's just rude. So yeah, I'm okay with broadcasting Sterling's ignorance all over the TVs. To me, this is the only way some folks will even acknowledge racism exists at all. And there are folks right now who are watching Sterling say all this nonsense and they're still going, well, actually, no, fall the fuck back. Listen, racism isn't black and white. Pun alert. Yes, there are actually examples of outrageous racism, but you know what? My issue ain't this Sterling Tate nonsense. I'm concerned not about the black and white racism, but the gray racism. The racism that doesn't involve someone saying nigger or hanging a black person from a tree. I'm worried about the gray racism that means a black kid can be murdered because they're scary. I'm worried about the gray racism that says a black woman on a porch means I can shoot her as opposed to finding out what exactly is the problem and maybe does she need help. Gray racism is the shit that's killing people of color. Constant small microaggressions that's literally shortening our lives. Gray racism is what makes people think that if a black dude's pants are sagging, that means that the cops should totally get to shoot them or arrest them or question them and stop and frisk them. Gray racism is that thing that lets you think that allowing black women to be slandered because they're speaking their truth is cool and you should totally defend the white women slandering those black women. Gray racism isn't any less insidious than black and white racism. The reason why we aren't as hardcore about it is because all of a sudden, it's not just the Sterlings and the Clive and Bundys that are guilty. It's a lot of y'all watching this show right now. Folks would rather say this type of racism doesn't exist than accept or admit that they actually play a role and benefit from this type of racism. With so many folks yelling about how they want to be allies to the cause and they want to help people of color, maybe the first thing you want to do is look in the mirror. Yeah.